Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. What the heck am I doing? I'm inside of a box. What does that have to do with scrapbooking? Well, it has less to do about being in the box and more about being out of the box. I'll do just about anything for a click, I guess. So today we're going to be talking about thinking outside of the box. So what do I mean by think outside the box? Well, let's talk about our newest collection, Leave Nothing Behind. When I revealed this in my most recent box opening, a couple people commented that the paper was really cute, really pretty, but they don't go camping or they don't go hiking. Well, Part of thinking outside of the box means that you don't let the name or theme of a collection fool you. Just because you're not a Boy Scout doesn't mean you can't use the Leave Nothing Behind collection. Let me show you a really quick example. This paper of a thermal spring spoke to me. I mean, it sung to me. Have I been to a thermal spring? No. Do I enjoy to do a lot of hiking? Uh-uh. In fact, I always tease my friends and tell them to enjoy their walk through the woods. But something about this paper really spoke to me and it had nothing to do with being outside. It was this rainbow of color. And do you know what, do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of my daughter who is not an outdoorsy girl. She's an artist. She loves working in color and she loves rainbows. So I started thinking, how can I use this paper to work for her? Well, I'll show you what I did with it. My daughter has an art show coming up and I, she's told me a little bit about the piece that is going to be um, displayed in her name and she told me she's using a lot of paint drips she's using a lot of rainbow colors so of course this paper is the perfect paper to display her art so I've got a couple of choices here um, I've left some space um, up here so that I can journal a little bit depending upon the photos I take at her art show I may do another small photo here or I might do um, some journaling and I've got title space I've got some four and a half by six and a half mats so that I can display some photos of her standing behind her piece and then here in the great big rainbow spot um, I haven't quite decided because I haven't seen her piece. She's described it to me a little bit. So I'm either going to be able to put like two five by sevens here, or I might be able to do like an eight by 10 cut in half and really display her piece of art to the fullest, picking up all of these little rainbow hints with the background paper. Now I went a step further with thinking outside of the box and I introduced a border to this page. Now I was going for sort of a paint dripping effect, but this paint dripping effect comes from our icicle chain border maker cartridge. Icicles don't have anything to do with art, but they are working for this page. I just layered a couple of sheets in Roy G. Biv order, and I think it turned out to be the perfect accent to this page. Now, unfortunately, the icicle chain is no longer available, but that shouldn't stop you from getting creative and finding punches to do your own paint drip splatters. Let's look through a few of the other leave nothing behind papers and see if we can't come up with other creative uses for the patterns. This paper from the leave nothing behind texture pack depicts pine needles on a wood floor. Now I know there's supposed to be pine needles, but something about this just screams herbs to me. 
I could see cutting a border of this this way or that way and putting it on a cooking page. Cooking doesn't really have to do with outdoors, but I don't know. I just see herbs. I see um, rosemary, even though I know they look different. No one's going to look that closely at your paper and point that out to you when you are finished. This is a picture of a red rock formation out in the desert. But again, maybe it's because my daughter's an artist. I see paint smears and I see liquid paint like pouring onto a page. This again would make a beautiful full background, but I can see it being cut into strips and making beautiful borders as well. Here we have a paper that shows the rings of a tree. Now I know it might be a little on the nose, but did you know that the rings of the tree indicate how old a tree is? How fun would it be to use this paper on a birthday page? Um, you know, thinking like a 50th birthday or 40th birthday, a 70th birthday, you know, something that is really, um, something that's going to show longevity. I believe I mentioned this paper in particular during my live broadcast. With this page, I think baseball. Think of that giant green wall that uh, you've got to hit your ball over to hit a home run. This will be the perfect accent to a baseball game or a stadium tour page. These next three papers are from the Leave Nothing Behind designer pack. Are they not just beautiful together? I know people are always looking for, you know, more masculine colors. And that's what we have right here. Oranges and greens. These are great for spring photos. They're great for fall photos. They're Father's Day. They're um, time sitting out on your porch. These are great for sitting down to dinner inside. They're great for snuggling on the couch. They are beautiful geometric patterns in simple colors that you can replicate in your day-to-day -day photos. And the last paper I'm going to talk about is this Animal Tracks page. Of course, it would be easy to use with camping and hiking, but let's think outside of the box. What about a game of Follow the Leader? Don't all little kids play that when they're little? Or monkey see, monkey do. How about a mama bear and her babies? I'm talking about you and your grandkids or you and your little kids snuggled up on the couch and reading a book. You don't have to be so literal with all of your patterns. Just because it has uh, prints from outside doesn't mean they have to be outside photos. So are you good at thinking outside of the box? Or do you let the name of a collection pigeonhole you? Does it scare you away from trying new things? If anything, I hope this video lets you take that idea and throw it out the window because I am ready for us all to try and enjoy all the things that Creative Memories has to offer. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know because the cogs are turning in my brain and I can see this turning into a regular series where we are taking tools, uh, the border punches, border maker cartridges, custom cutting system, all of the different paper pack collections, theme packs, and exploring new ways to use them. Wouldn't that be a really fun think outside the box like series? I don't know. You guys let me know. In the meantime, if you are looking for more inspiration, find me on Instagram and Facebook. I post daily content there and it's the best way to reach me one-on-one. -on -one. And if you want a little more inspiration, why don't you attend one of my events? I have in-person and virtual events, so there is something out there for everybody. In fact, this weekend, I have my National Scrapbook Day in person in Holly Springs, North Carolina. And I'm also hosting a virtual class this weekend using the Jumbo Circle from the Custom Cutting System. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm working on adding new events as we speak. If you saw something in this video that you love and you have to have, 
just go on over to my website. You can buy it for yourself. Easy peasy, lemon breezy. Um, I always put a, a description. Well, I always put a description in the description of the items that I used. So it makes shopping super easy. And if you love everything Creative Memories and you are eager to share, let's talk about joining my team. I've really been focusing on growing and I would love to grow alongside you. In the meantime, I guess I will talk to you guys next week. I have a couple more ideas brewing, but yeah, let me know if you think that this should be a regular series. I think, knock on wood, next week is going to be about a tool that we don't use very often, but we'll see. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.